G'day guys, welcome to the channel again. In last week's episode, I touched on this idea of changing the channel name and I actually uh, asked for your feedback and to be honest it was overwhelmingly positive about changing the name and I just want to thank you all for your comments etc. Uh, there were a couple of people obviously that liked the name Fat Fords a little better and, and to be honest I like the name Fat Fords too but it just it kind of restricts me to one brand if I want to build other cars going down the line and film them so I think that uh, this was the right move and as you can see we've already changed over to Fat Rides Garage but we'll still be building fat Fords, you know, so uh, it just allows us to build fat Chevys and fat whatever you want, you know, so in the meantime, um, yeah, thanks again for all your comments and support regarding that and uh, just moving right, right along, now we're going to uh, get into the rear window again and this time we're going to actually finish it off, so I'm looking forward to that. It's been a bit of a bugbear this rear window, flush fitting it and everything, but I'm happy to say that we're uh, pretty much almost there, so hope you enjoy the episode and if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you at the end. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off in the last video and that is on these edges where I did all the sheet metal where I added this extra metal. What I'm going to do is uh, just add some lead along that top edge just to uh, go over the top of that sheet metal work just to tidy things up and uh, then we'll probably just move on to priming it all and she'll be ready for that final fit up of the window. Well not final but I mean um, the fit up where I get the gaps precisely right so we'll take it to that stage and then see how we're looking. That's it for the lead wiping. So I've um, done as much as I feel I can with the lead and um, done that on both sides there. And I've gone ahead and uh, cleaned it up with the uh, 36 grit. And I've also cleaned up the uh, filler panel all up the side here and um, just gone over it all with 36 grit on the air sander. Had a bit of a dent there that I had to, uh, to pull out. And um, it's, a lot of these places here are really quite difficult to work on because there's structure in behind it and you can't get a, a dolly in, you can't get a spoon in. And so you don't always get the best finish that you want. Say with that, for example, I got the edge of the spoon in a couple of places, but it's still got, you know, little divots. So, but the main thing is the overall thing is the overall uh, panel is straight, so there's no sort of like massive high spots or anything.
Well, I've been working away, adding a filler here and there on this um, rear window frame. And, um, you know, I'm getting closer. Sort of like about a two mil gap on this edge, and it's a little bit tighter in the middle. And then up the top, I've got a little bit more in that corner that I'm gonna have to just add a tiny bit of filler just to close that up. And along the top, I don't know if I wanna worry about it, but it does open up a little bit in the middle. So, it, but it, the thing is that it's even on both sides, but yeah, if I wanted to be like ultra fussy, I could probably add just a tiny skim of filler out towards the center. And yeah, it's probably about four mil out in the center and then tapers off to like two mil on either side. And the bottoms here, at the moment, the bottoms are, it's probably, it's probably about one and a half, two mil just out in the center here. But as I approach this uh, curve here, actually that's a bit deceiving because the tape's actually ripped off the glass there, so just ignore that. But yeah, just say when you get to here, it's actually touching. So it's fairly hard up there. But yeah, it's just fine tuning, it's just mucking around, it's just, uh, how would you say, you just got to be patient. Okay, yeah. so we've finally got this rear window frame wrapped up. I've um, been around, I adjusted, you know, these little bits here, little increments here and there with a bit of filler and, and whatnot, and then I put it in some epoxy primer, and um, it's looking fairly good. So I think what we'll do is we'll just um, grab a hold of the, uh, the glass and we'll throw it and we see how she looks. You know, the thing is sometimes you play around with a bit of filler and a bit of primer and next thing you know it doesn't fit but this is looking pretty good. Yeah, beautiful. So just dropped right in. So it's not perfect yet. I've got, I mean I'm within a mil intolerances around the bottom here which I'm going to have to fix because I want an even line uh, pretty good up the side. Along the top here, if you just have a look along the top, I've got a little bit more gap as, well I've already marked the screen here, five mil, but um, we're down to a three mil gap here on either side. So it's, it's fairly consistent, but all the same, you know, I don't want to have a five mil gap in the middle. So I'm going to have to add two mil of filler just here, taper it out to the edges. And then the rest of it is probably just going to be, you know, playing around with a bit of sanding and uh, block and sanding and, and whatnot. But I think for now, I'm going to leave it and I'm going to get on with, you know, other parts of the car. And, and this, this part here, as far as, you know, adding a little bit here and there, I think we'll leave that until we, um, you know, do the final body work on the car. So all in all, she's looking pretty good. So um, just to sort of recap on what I did. So if you want to, if you want to flush fit, a screen like this and, and it's a, originally from factory it had a rubber seal around it then you, you take the rubber seal out of the equation you end up with a fairly big gap around the screen and in this case this screen would have literally dropped through the hole so what I've had to do is I had to split this filler deck panel I had to move it up in order to uh, have the screen almost up hard at the top and allow me about a three mil gap all around it and then in so doing I ended up with a fairly big gap on the side which tapered off to nothing at the top so what I did is um, got the, a bit of a piece of uh, metal about 500 long <coughs> bent it in the in the metal folder and uh, and then went to work on it with the shrinker stretcher just to give it a bit of a curve popped it in here tacked it up and then I lead wiped over the top and then uh, the final adjustments was just done with body filler so uh, it's it's basic but it's just you know takes time a, bit, a little bit labor intensive so anyway that's it for this one and um yeah happy days i'm glad to get it done to be honest it wasn't that easy so um anyway all right well that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one